What's up guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Today we are kicking off, I think it's season 4, I don't know. I've done one very important thing and installed the Crock-Pot mod, so no worries there. That is the big mod that a lot of you guys were suggesting and I decided to go ahead with. We are starting a new season. A lot of guys seem to like the chef as an option, so we're gonna go with him. And personally, he fits my playstyle because I love Crock-Pots and uh, he has a chef pouch which like keeps food... Uh, like from spoiling for a while it's kind of like a mini frit i don't know but we're gonna go ahead and begin our new season as the chef only mod i installed was that maybe after this season ends i'll install some new ones but this mod will be really big because i feel like a lot of our mess ups come from crock pot mess ups and if we can focus our struggles on doing the crock pot right i feel like we'll do a lot better uh, I also have a couple things I'm hoping to do. Hopefully you guys are excited for this new season. If you are, hit that like button. And let me know in the comments. And I know I'm being an obnoxious person by asking for that. But hey, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game, right? I mean, I I, I gotta ask. Alright, so I'm sorry. It's out of the way. Playing games. Oh, look at that. That's my hat. Nice sailing. Shut up, parrot. You're an asshole. Leaving doubloons and shit. Freaking shitting out doubloons and whatnot. Uh, okay, so already. From our island, we can see some grass, we got some of that, we got that, we got the portable cooking pots, we have our chef pouch. Oh, I thought that was a hat. No way. I think it is a hat, but it works as a pouch. Okay, that's awesome. So if we put food in there, I think it actually spoils much slower. Okay, so the one thing that's kind of going to suck... Oh, we got to continue... Oh, starting from scratch. Okay, well, what we got to make sure we do is literally collect every single resource we see. Uh, if we can get a good amount of fertilizer, probably try and replant some resources. Uh... Like replanting some grass and whatnot would be good. I think we have to fertilize it. I don't I don't know if we have to fertilize grass and twigs. We might not actually have to fertilize grass nor twigs, so we might be able to replant those pretty easily. But uh, for now, we're just going for a first little uh, overhaul here. Going, trying to pick everything's possible. We will throw all of the food into there. We already have a crock pot available to us. I'm crossing my fingers that the crock pot works for like... I don't know, can I place it? Oh, okay, so I can plant it. Uh, well, hopefully the smart crock pot works with the portable crock pot. That's the big thing I'm hoping for because we're not, I mean, I don't know. This allows us to be a lot more mobile, which I really like. We do lose out on some inventory room because this is mainly going to be for our food. But, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to, I'm just kind of spitting out whatever words come in my head. So, I might not be making a huge amount of sense. But... I mean, right away, we kind of do start with a backpack. Can we put other stuff in there, or is it only food? We can put other stuff. So, the chef literally starts right away with a backpack that is allowed to use food. He starts with 250 food, so we're not going hungry anytime soon. Although, I do believe his hunger does fall a little bit faster. The thing is, the crockpot recipes actually fill him up like 33% more. So, it does kind of balance out, especially since he literally has a portable crockpot, which is nothing short of amazing. Now that we got all this crap, I'm thinking we're going to get an axe and begin chopping this down. I'm hoping to get... Hopefully, his coconuts don't fall on me. I've had that happen in the past. That's not a fun thing. I would like to collect these coconuts, though. Throw those in there. We probably want to make a machete soon. Yeah, we got to get some more flint. Ugh. There's a lack of flint around here, that's for sure. Can't even make a pickaxe. Jesus Christ, we're that low on flint? That kinda sucks. That's really bad for us. I'm not gonna chop down too many of these trees. I don't want to piss off the coconut gods anytime soon. I'm just kinda collecting all the basic resources. We'll make a shovel and everything eventually. Uh, we can make a fire for the night already, so that's kinda big news. I don't know if we want to make the fire pit. Oh, no, we don't want to make the fire pit yet. If we can make the hammer, we can... Oh, nice, more flint. Uh, we could collect a bunch of wooden boards, which is actually a really nice starting thing they give that I never really capitalized on before. But uh, we can break all the debris, and we'll be good to go. Get some berries. Nice, we will throw those in there. The flowers we will keep uh, out of there. Well, actually, I don't even want to pick the flowers. We don't need any sanity right now. I'd rather save these for a later point in time when we're really dicked. Right now... We're not in that section of really dicked. And speaking of that, this island seems to be strangely long. To put it in a way that maybe makes sense. I don't know. It's it's weird. We're getting a lot of grass, though. And we're going to have a huge stockpile of the stuff to start off with. Uh, the seeds, awesome. So we can... Oh, wait. I'm not a monkey. I don't get free poop. Oh, and monkeys don't like me. Well, that kind of sucks. But honestly, I think the benefits of the chef here outweigh it. And I'm honestly super excited about this. Uh... I really want to play the chef. I think the big reason we did the Monkey King last time was because it was like brand new and you guys seemed to really want to see him. 
Uh, I don't think he really fits my playstyle. I wasn't a huge fan of him. He does have some cool little perks. But I'm very excited for this playthrough because this chef is my guy. Because, I don't know, I just feel like he really fits my playstyle. And I really want to see what we got. So we will get a pickaxe going. I'll actually make sure to have our tools kind of there on the right. So we can keep track of that a little bit more. Make sure to get plenty of twigs while we're at it. Because I know we were having some twig shortages before. Uh, make sure to collect those limpets. Uh, I think we can use one limpet to cook some sort of food. Like a meatball. I think that should work. We'll do that. Hopefully get some flint out of this guy. That's the big reason I'm actually mounting him up. And the rocks too. Rocks will be pretty big. Uh, nitre, nitre, not gonna mess with that really, I don't think. We're not gonna mine those limpet rocks like the mistake we made back in season one. I'm never making that mistake again. And, uh, well, this island, in terms of content, not continent, I don't think this island's a continent, in terms of, uh, content, uh, uh, not the most diverse in terms of biomes, although there is still kind of a little section we could explore to the east there, but... What this biome showing us is kind of, I don't know if we want to settle here. Like, it does have a little bit of limpet rocks. It has a lot of these raw resources, which I really like, and will give us plenty of stuff. Uh, oh, we got to be able to cook something up. Good. Forgot about that. Also, nautical. You want to make the machete. We'll make one of those bad boys. And uh, probably begin collecting stuff for a raft. We'll set sail tomorrow. Uh, I will actually make sure that we grab a couple more coconuts. I'm only going to chop down the coconut trees. Uh, I mean, on, as a side, or, I don't know. We get wood, and then we also get coconuts as a bonus, so I'm pretty happy with that. Make sure to collect as many of these seeds as possible. And uh, there we go, our sanity falls. So I'm going to kind of want to build the fire by the forest so we can grab some leaves. Not leaves. Uh, grab some... Ow! Didn't expect that. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I was, I was so, like, accustomed. Ow! Well, that's twice. I was so accustomed to the three trees we hit before that didn't kill us. Uh, we were mistaken. Should not have grown that comfortable. Uh, we've already lost 40 health. Jesus Christ. Uh, do I even bother with this one? Okay, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out. See if a coconut falls. Hopefully I don't blink and miss it. Okay, there we go. We got those. We can start getting out of here. We've collected so many raw resources. And I uh, just want to build our fire kind of around here. Make sure to collect as much stuff for our boat as possible. We want to start off with the raft that is the better of the boats. At least it feels like it is. Definitely feels like we go a little bit faster. And uh, day two, we'll have plenty of resources. And already be sailing away. I think we spent day one very efficiently. We did uh, a lot more right things than before. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and... We're not going to risk it for the biscuit. I'd rather not have awful things happen. We'll build that campfire. That should keep us going for tonight. There's a snake in the distance. We could try picking a, picking a little fight with him. I will pick up one of these flowers. We'll leave those out of our special inventory. Because I want those to go bad. I'm not going to focus on making that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Crockpot. So, we're going to take this time to try and open the portable clock pot. It predicts. Thank you. And, uh... Well, what do we have? Well, actually, what we probably want to do here is cut these coconuts in half. There we go. Oh, my God. No! No, my coconuts! Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, we have a lot of ashes. That's, that's about... Ow. Well. That's what I get for cutting coconuts near my fire. Yay! Uh, can I cook anything good? Predict, what is that? Fistful of jam, 100%. Hmm. Well, you know we'll continue going hungry for like one more day, because I'm not trying to waste these limpets. We gotta make sure to grab some filler. Do some crap like that. Wow, we were very much so dicked by that. Jesus Christ, man. That, that was just, that was awful. <laughs> We've lost so much health already. Why? Why me? I, I don't know, but we'll continue grabbing this bamboo to make our boat. Uh, we will explore over here to the right a little bit. We'll grab the main thing we want to grab is just these seashells, so we have those available to us, but we will begin to set sail. We're not going to do what we did last season and go rogue with our setting sail. I think we want to kind of stick to our chain of irons, uh, not irons, That's what that didn't make any sense, our chain of islands. Okay, if I, like, please coconut, don't fall on me. Like, please. Pr 
pretty, please. I really, like, I can't... Okay, thank you. I got one coconut. One coconut. Got some seeds. Okay. Okay, let's build this raft, get the hell out of Dodge. Anyways, uh, I want to stick in the shallow water and hopefully find another island... Uh, I'd want to say, quote-unquote, naturally, but... Oh, nice! We already got a message in a bottle! We can already... Oh, you know what's great about that? Is that kind of will give us a direction we can already head into. Dude, this... This season's starting off well, well, well. How far away is that? Okay, so we're going to be heading north to try and get the treasure of the north. Uh, we're going to make sure to grab as much seaweed as possible. We should be able to do something with the limpets and the seaweed and make ourselves some good stuff. Uh, a fishing rod will be pretty important at some point in time so we can fish for stuff. Uh, we got to make sure to actually get some gold. We got Oh, we got to find some gold rocks. Forgot about that. This is a huge open sea of uh, shallow water. It's like a sandbar. This is really cool. I like this. You got the little jellyfish and stuff. I don't know. Is that what a sandbar is? Isn't it like really shallow water pretty much? I don't know. I only know what a sandbar is from DJ Khaled's Snapchats. Because uh, he always goes jet skiing on them. I don't know. Shout out to him for having a semi-entertaining Snapchat. I don't know. I gotta come. I gotta have a good Snapchat, man. I gotta be the next DJ Khaled of Snapchat. How would that go? I wonder. That would be... Uh, Interesting to say the least uh, My snapchat game. I don't think my snapchat game could match him. I wish it could I wish it could. I don't know. Would you guys ever follow that if I had a snapchat to document my adventures my Pretty boring adventures. I mean, I'm not rich and famous like uh, DJ Khaled over there. So sorry to disappoint you But uh, oh forgot about that. We probably want to build this hammer. Yeah, we got we got the resources man. What's up? Let's build the hammer uh, Let's capitalize on these crates these crates actually can't they hold stuff inside as well? No, no. We're, we're going on land. Come on, get back on land. Can't they hold stuff in them as well, or is it just wood boards? Yeah, we got a ballfin tuna. We get some tuna, honestly. Uh, oh, we got a fish steak. Oh, we got a fish steak. Probably want to build a recipe really quick. Now, this is where I just love, love this character. So, if we can drop down a portable crock pot. Uh, and hopefully drop some fish steak in there. We'll drop the two coconut halves and maybe like a limpet We can predict that it will make some meatballs. So instead of the limpet, let's have some berries predict we get some meatballs I'm happy with that. Bada bing bada boom clear up some inventory room and voila Voila Still waiting come on. Oh, we should also make some uh bisque or whatever it's called to restore our health And get us a little bit of food along the way. I want to know how much food how much hunger this is going to give us. So we're at like 107 right now. If we eat this, we go all the way up to 189. God damn, that is a lot. I also want to make a couple recipes here. Uh, ratatouille, sure. I'm, I'm cool with ratatouille. Oh, I think the recipe I was thinking of was three limpets and one seaweed. Well, whatever. We'll make a wide variety of foods here to get our food and health up. I'm kind of cool with that. I really like that. Uh, this island seems to be a small one. Don't think there's gonna be a whole lot going on on it uh, While we are waiting for that to cook though. I will just grab Some more of that. There we go. Harvest the portable crock pot and uh, we will eat that Voila delectable good. Thank you for having such a quiz exquisite exquisite taste chef I do appreciate that you really get to appreciate my cooking I make for you even though technically you're making the cooking for you So thank you for appreciating that I appreciate your appreciation uh, I got some more coconut trees. Oh, do we want to mess with these? I don't know. That's risky business. More limpets. Yay! That's like the first limpet rock we found on this island. Uh, this island turned out to be a little bit... A little bit bigger than I expected, actually. Okay, no. The end of it is right about... Oh, maybe not. Hello. Uh, I do want to leave... I don't want to mess with those. Just in case we ever get in a bad situation. I want to be able to come back here. And uh, just know that there's some sanity waiting. Oh, yeah, baby. This is what I like. Oh, let's get this mushroom cap before the nighttime comes. Because I think the mushroom cap actually hides after that. That's good. We got some more filler. Uh, if we ever need health, we can actually cook that. And at the cost of, like, some sanity or something, we should get it. We got our first gold nugget, which lets us make the science machine. And things are looking millhouse as fuck. I like this. This is good. This is good. This island goes a lot further. Is it... Oh, I was about to say, is this all the same island? No, I don't think so. Uh, a lot bigger than I expected. <laughs> this is massive compared to what I actually thought it'd be. And uh, this chef's pouch, holy crap. I'm not even necessarily using it to hold stuff. 
But goddamn, it comes in clutch. Especially because if you want to get a normal backpack, you have to place your science machine down in the f down in the first place. So it's a pretty big deal already. That is awesome. Uh, nighttime's starting to come a little bit quicker. We can gather some more berries, get some more gold, and if we ever find a good island, we're we're pretty much ready to settle. You know, all we gotta do now, we got a good amount of gold. I would like some more, potentially find one of those volcanic biomes. That'll be a pretty big help in what we're trying to do, but not necessarily necessary. Would be very nice though. Uh, we've explored pretty much all that. We got a little bit more here going. Uh, we can pick some flowers. I'll do that back up there. Just want to be efficient with my flower picking because when sanity troubles come, I just realized this guy has a lot of sanity. Oh, that is awesome. Another limpet. Things are, things are looking good, man. You know, life is good. We can make some of that bisque. I think it is three limpets and a uh, seaweed for it. So I did get that mistake in the first time. Explore the rest of here. Uh, oh, we got that thing. Uh, I'm actually going to make a fire for tonight. Let's do that. Then we will... Where is our hammer? Where's the hammer time? That's the hammer time. Hammer that. Because... Oh, an empty bottle? I already got one of those. Why not? We got a machete. Do we want to pick a fight? Yo. Yo, what up? Get over here. Oh, no. That's way too many snakes. Well, we aggroed one, so if he comes over here, that's his problem. His fault. I don't know. I'm not taking blame for it. Nah, he's done. And nighttime's really short, so that's going to bring an episode to day... Or bring an episode to day one. Bring the end of these epi... Bring the end of this episode being day one. There we go. That was kind of English. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I'm already liking how this season's going. A lot better. Good start. I'm not going too rogue. Ratatouille. God damn, what's the freaking recipe I'm thinking of? Seriously, I thought there was a specific recipe that you use to make a bisque or something like that. Whatever, I'm cool with cooking ratatouille with three seaweed and a limpet, but still. What the hell am I thinking of? I thought... I don't know, man. I'm probably doing some sort of stupid mistake. Who knows? I'm known for my stupidity. But uh, this will slowly start bringing our health up. If I could remember that recipe, that'd be awesome. If Maybe if you guys know in the comments, that'd be great. But let me know what, if you guys are excited for the season. Personally, I am. Let me know why you guys might be. Uh, because I I really am. I really want to try out this character for a while. Now that I finally get to, we're on a pretty good start here. And uh, already, episode one, we got some treasure we can go chasing. We got some barrels. We, we're collecting the debris. Debris. I know it's called debris, but I call it debris. We're collecting the debris. And, uh, oh, let's make sure to pick that up. Collecting the debris. And getting some important stuff, aka all these wooden planks, which we then don't have to actually use our own resources for, which is awesome. Like, I don't know, we're doing fantastic. We already have a crock pot, don't have to worry about getting one of those going. Life is good at the sh as the chef, so hopefully it doesn't fire back, but is high food capacity, high insanity tolerance, decent health. I really like this guy, and I think we might be able to survive an entire year. Our closest was season two. We got about halfway through volcanic season. We almost made a full year. But uh, here, I'm liking our odds of doing a full year. Hopefully, I didn't jinx it right then and there. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video as always. And hopefully, I'll see you next one.